So people don't like to talk to me at dinner parties because I'm not going to talk to you about the death penalty or the war on drugs. I'm going to talk to you about things like prosecutors. 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 Uh, I am here to uh, offer my semi-informed opinions about the power uh, and potential hope in district attorneys and prosecutors to defuck the criminal justice system. There's an acknowledgement now, because I'm a public defender, I'm on the front lines, um, that there's something deeply wrong with the way that our system operates. Other than the general understanding of how the system works, people have a limited understanding of who the players are and what their actual roles are in the, in the system. It's puzzling to me that, that prosecutors have gotten so little attention when they, when they do so much. And I think it's because they sort of operate in sort of this in almost invisible middle space. But the middle is the most critical part, because the middle, what happens in court, driven by prosecutors and laws that give them a ton of power, both reinforces what happens at the beginning and drives what happens at the end. The prosecutor actually is a huge part of how safety is shaped in a city, what is prosecuted and what's not, what are the recommended sentences for people, what does bail look like. The prosecutor is actually the, they are the leverage point there. They operate with almost unfettered discretion um, and have been using that discretion to, to drive over, intentionally or not, to drive over prison populations over the past 25, 30 years. The reality is that our justice system is overloaded. We charge people with crimes at a rate that is exponentially higher than we could ever take those cases to trial. The system, as it's designed, encourages prosecutors to seek these wins that are easily countable. You know, conviction rate, conviction rate, conviction rate. But when you're just chasing numbers, you leave a lot of the humanity out of it. Without thinking about the real harms that that, we call it assembly line justice, uh, may have on the individual being prosecuted. I wish that prosecutors could get to know the people that I represent. I try to introduce them to a person who's not just a criminal, who isn't just the product of all the worst things he or she has ever been accused of doing. It takes some vision, it takes some bravery to be a prosecutor who says, this isn't right. This isn't, how the, this isn't how I want an office to function, and this isn't the role I want my office to be playing um, in the deterioration of communities. And one of the things that has been powerful over the past couple of years is that people, uh, advocates, have been informing uh, citizens about the immense power that the, the district attorneys have across the country to actually change the way criminal justice looks. Prosecutors tomorrow could change the justice system if they wanted to. The prosecutor or DA has total control over reform. In fact, we can't have real reform without them. In 2018, over a thousand of those elected prosecutors are up for election. Each of those represents a chance for that particular community to make a statement. What the public wants to have happen is what the district attorney should be doing. Local DAs respond to the local electorate. They are the only people who have any control over them. And so the way to control who's at the top is to vote. I care about voting in a democracy. I know it's old fashioned. An elected district attorney has the power to set policy for an office of hundreds of lawyers, which in turn has a ripple effect to thousands and thousands of cases every month in the system. One of the things that I'm always mindful of is that people made this system, so people can remake the system, people can transform the system, people can undo the damage and build new imaginative beautiful things that actually do work for people. And I think that that's the moment that we're in now. So yeah, it's super, uh, it's like a big deal. <laughs>